the travels and surprising adventures of Baron Munchessen. This is published in 1886. Having heard for the first time that my adventures may have been disassembled and looked upon as jokes, I feel bound to come forth word and dictate my character for veracity by placing three shillings at the Madison House at this great city for the affidavit hereby appended. This I have been forced into in regard of my own honor, although I have noticed to many years from public and private life, and I hope that this, my last edition, will place me in a proper light with my readers. in the city of London, England. We are understanding as true believers in the prophet do most solemnly affirm that all the adventures of our friend Baron Munchessen in whatever country they may lie or positive or and simple facts and as we have been believed whose adventures are tenfold more wonderful, so do we hope all true believers will give him their full faith and evidence. Gulliver, Sinbad, Aladdin. Sworn at the Maximum House, give November last on the absent of the Lord Mayor, John the Porter. <laughs> the Baron sails with Captain Phillips, attacks two large bears, and has a narrow escape. Gains the competence of these animals and then destroys thousands of them, loads the ship with their hams and skins, makes present of the former, and obtains a general invitation to all city feast. A dispute between the captain and the baron, in which from motives of politeness, the captain is suffered to gain his point. The baron declines the honor of a throne and the empress in the bargain. We can all remember Captain Phillips, now Lord Mulgrave's last voyage of discovery to the north. I accompanied him, accompanied the captain, not as an officer, but as a private friend. When we arrived at a high northern latitude, I was viewing the objects around me with a telescope and I noticed to my Gibraltar adventures, I thought I saw two large white bears in violent action upon the body of ice considerable above the mast and about half 